two words I've heard you guys use a lot is creative, you know, obviously. Um, and another <laughs> word that I've heard you guys use a lot is kingdom. Um, you know, for those of us that might not understand, yeah. here's my two questions. So I guess you guys can kind of split it however you want. Is everybody a creative? One. And number two, you guys keep yeah. saying kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. What, what, is that? Mm. what does that really mean for those of us that might not mm. understand that? That's mm. good. That's so good. Uh, is everyone a creative? I would say, hmm. That, that, that in is general, a, in general uh, or like in our community? In general. Okay. 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 Sweet. Go on, go do your thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I felt it. She, no, I felt no, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in, yes. <laughs> yes. In the way that we know creative, like like right now, like you know how words can like adapt to culture or or whatnot, but like we use creative and when we say that we think the artsy person with the, the maybe the feather in their hair and the you know is you know, like I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. That's, I'm trying to get real dramatic. It. It's like a brown feather you know, with a white tip. That's what I'm saying. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's hanging. You know what I mean? That's coming back in style. That's why I, I wanted to say it. That means she has one, people. Yeah. <laughs> no, but literally, we think of we think of this. I think we get so trapped in this idea of what a creative is, but yeah. like honestly, a creative, like you can be in business and creative because you have to create business plans. You can be a scientist and creative because you have to create formula. Uh -huh. You're always okay. creating, yeah. you yes. know, like you're always creating. So yes, to answer that question, yes. If I can follow up with that, yes. I would say if you are tapped, um, if you if you are tapped into the spirit of God, uh, there's creativity in you mm. because Preach. He is yeah. the spirit of creativity. Yes, and so yes, it will look to you, it will look different, kind of what you were saying. If you're in business, if you're in fa if you have family, yeah. if you uh, like you're a scientist, yeah. if you mow the lawn, like every aspect of what you do, um, with you being the temple of the living God, uh, you you have access to creativity. Uh, and we've, I feel like we've been trying to like debunk this like this image of what creative. What yes. a creative is? Yes. Because people say, oh, I'm not a creative. And one of the things that really broke the mold for me was we have listening parties at Axel. And so we come together uh, once or twice a year. Yeah, twice um, a year. Some people think like, oh, well, listening parties, album release. No, actually, <laughs> what it is is that we, we set aside time to hear the Lord for what he wants to say, or how he wants to use our creativity for the year. Um, so we, we, we will yield to him and say, Lord, what do you want to do with my creativity? And yeah. then from there, we plan. Yeah. From there, you execute, uh, rather than making plans and then going, and then asking him, can you catch up with me? Mm -hmm. And so there at the uh, Axel uh, listening party, one of the questions was like asking the Lord, like, hey, how do you want to use my creativity this year? And so I remember sitting there, and I'm like praying. I'm like, okay, Lord, what are you saying? <laughs> and I wasn't getting nothing. And so it took 30 minutes in, and then I finally got a word, and he just said business. I was like, what? Mm. How am I supposed to do that with, with business? Literally, it took two years. Two years for me to finally for it to finally click. Wow. Uh, when I was in a meeting with uh, my CFO and um, with my boss, he would start asking me like, "Oh, what do you think about creatively? What do you think about like putting this here and this?" We're walking through a, we're walking through a warehouse, yeah. um, and he's like, "Can we? We need to figure out structures and creatively figure out structures how we can get shipping to be here." And Jalen, think about the layout. I'm like, "Whoa, this is how you creatively." Like infiltrate business, or like this is how I can use this gift mm, uh, that the Lord has put so in me, and so it really so broke good. the lid and broke the moat off of my mind to think like, oh Lord, you can literally use me in every avenue of my life. Yeah, and so yeah, that's how I feel like everyone has mm -hmm. the potential to pull from creativity. Yes, um, so God. that's good. And yeah. then you said the next question was kingdom. kingdom. What is yeah, kingdom? Yeah. Um, kingdom. When we refer to kingdom. I see it as the citizenship of the sons and daughters of God. Um, and so it's like this this um, um, this kingdom and culture. So we have, a, we have a driver called Kingdom of a Culture. Um, it's like, it's kind of what we stand by. It's like we are sons and daughters of God. And that's our, and that's our identity yeah. and that's our citizenship. Yeah. Uh, once we gave our life to Christ and we said, yes, Lord, I love you. I will walk this life and I will die for you every day. Mm -hmm. um, you became a kingdom, kingdom citizenship. Yeah. Became a kingdom citizen and a child, mm -hmm. um, and so that that is what the kingdom we reference. Kingdom it's for it's for God. It's, it has His representatives here on earth, um, and seeing it, seeing heaven come mm -hmm. through that intimacy and that relationship. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hey y'all, just getting back in. Mic cut off, so continuing. But Angela, 
You go ahead. It was my toe, y'all. I apologize. (laughs) 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 Um, What I was saying was why that's so important is because um, kingdom is oftentimes going against what culture is doing, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, like, most times is going against what's... But we're, we're... we have this access to the Father and what, like, his plans are, and, like, it just may look different. A lot of times when we come into um, citizenship or, like, say that I am a son, I'm a daughter, like, God will ask us to do things that, like, feel uncomfortable or, like, don't feel like what everyone else is doing or, you know, can catch some slack or whatever it is. But, um, and that could be because he's doing both something personally within you um, and something for the kingdom that we just don't understand, something to for or that is going to follow that we just don't understand and see yet. So, like when earlier we were saying, like being like just loving Jesus, but like hearing and obeying God, you know, and yeah. I, that's something that's almost a it is a vantage point. I will say from the perspective of what I know, the Lord, it is a vantage point to create and know the Lord because He will give you insight yeah. that the world cannot, you know. So. 